Welcome everyone. This is the Global Watch International Prayer Room. Today is April the 6th, 2023, and it is 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. This is today Prayer for Pesach for Israel, and our host is from Oakland, California, our own Dahlia. We thank you and we bless you, Lord. We thank you, Dahlia, for coming, and we bless everyone who's on the call today. May the Lord speak to you and through you through this hour. Okay, Dahlia, over to you. First of all, I just want to say how thrilled I am that we have this opportunity, and we thank our dear leaders, Fred and Sue, of uh, the Global Watch, that we could come together on this incredible time for such a time as this to pray for Israel, to focus on Israel right now. What a, uh, and on this first day of, uh, of the Feast of Matzah, hallelujah. Uh, so there'll be, um, people will be having their seders still. Hallelujah, I think many already have. Um, praise God. Um, so we wanna start off with prayer. Um, you know, we have, we have something, uh, Shakar set up, it's called uh, David's Five Stones. There's five of us. So I'm a little stone here today <laughs> at that Goliath. Oh, praise God. Um, but we get the big stone, don't we? We all stand on him. Praise God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Um, do we have one of someone here that's from? I don't see the other one of the other stones. I was going to ask them to lead off in prayer. Um, but um, Petra, would you lead us off in prayer? I think you have to unmute. She's listening, uh, Dahlia. You have to unmute Petra. She's at work, Dahlia. She's at oh, work. She can't. Oh, I asked. Uh, let me try. Um, let's see who we can ask. Michael, would you lead us off in prayer? Lord, we thank you for this season you've brought us to. Uh, it's the start of a new year. Uh, and Lord, we look to you uh, and commit uh, the start of this year to you, Lord God. Uh, Father, we commit this time to you. Pray you'd be glorified and pray you'd use us on behalf of Israel. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. And now we have a song, it's um, called Healer, Isaiah 53 by Hillsong Worship. Thank you, uh, Shirley, she's helping here. You know, that reminded me yesterday, leading prayer, uh, Sue was saying for us watchmen, there's four steps, how we need him, obey, restore worship, circumcise us, sanctify us, and why deliverance is coming four steps for the watchman during Passover. Uh, she was focusing on that. And that song kind of took care of why we, how we need him and um, Israel right now and the um, worship too, hallelujah. And right now, before I even get into what I planned, you know, Israel's get, having um, uh, rockets fired at them for two days in a row now. And uh, I think we need to pray very, at the very first for that. Uh, do, do I have a volunteer for that? And then I'll leave, go into some of my, this is just so critical right now. And praise God, Lord, thank you that uh, they've all exploded in air or missed the target uh, or gone in an open field that I've heard. I, I haven't heard that anybody's been hurt or anything damaged too badly, except some went into Gaza. And we do feel sad that innocent people are, um, possibly hurt in Gaza. I don't know about that. Anyway, so um, do we have a volunteer to pray for uh, protection? Um, I think I see Blair's hand. <laughs> Thank you, Blair. Holy Father, Holy God. Father, you, you are the Lord, our God, our protector, our provider. You're all that we need. Father, we, we lift you up in praise, Lord, that you are doing a mighty thing among your people. Lord, and that even people of promise in Israel, 
and that though they are surrounded by enemies, and there is great hatred towards them, even, Lord, this time of, uh, of, of violence, we lift them up to you, Lord, that you would protect them and guard them. Lord, and guide them in this time of Passover, that as, as people re remember and reflect on you, mighty God, that you are doing this mighty thing to the praise of your glory, Father, that you are letting it be seen to all. You are protecting them. And this battle is not just against Israel, but against you. You are not blind. You are not deaf. Father, you are doing, and you will be glorified. Lord, we pray that the fear of God would come upon those people that are doing such evil things. Lord, to repent and turn from their wicked ways. That they may come to fear God and do what is right. Lord, and we pray that they might even, that they would see the love of God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I, I want to agree with that, Lord. When, when we have fear, that they'll realize that all they have to do is call on Yeshua. Oh, Lord, we, we pray that, that they'll know to call on Yeshua at this time, that you're their deliverer, and all who call upon you will be delivered. Amen. All over Israel, we pray that that understanding, Lord, you'll give them that understanding. Um, okay, so uh, I wanted to remind everybody that... Uh, Tomorrow, Shakar has a recording, though she's with her family, and that's why you're not getting to hear her today, but um, praise God, she gets to be with her family. They came all the way from the United States to visit with her, and um, pray for her. She's got a cold, I know. Um, also, um, I just uh, wanted to say that Shakar recorded the Pesach Seder for us at, for Shabbat tomorrow, so we hope you all can join us. That would be 5 p.m. Jerusalem time uh, tomorrow, okay? I hope to see you all there. I'm excited about it. Um, so so wonderful. She's, she's so inspiring. And she, she's made, she's got five of us. David's five stones, and I'm one of those stones. I've thrown a little stone today. <laughs> I love it. Praise God. And uh, we're thankful for her. Um, She's such a blessing. All right, so I um, wanted to start it off with um, about Passover. One of the main things, one of the main things to remember about Passover is to remember to remember what God has done for us. And this is one of the one of the key points about going over the Seder to remember. Um, and Hebrews a core. So I want to read a few verses about that. Exodus twelve. 14 through 24. Uh, this is uh, th this will be a day for you to remember and celebrate as a festival to Adonai from generation to generation. You're to celebrate it by a perpetual regulation. And Father, we do pray oh, for each generation, Lord, the younger generation, Lord, we pray for revival now to see the Messiah in the Passover. For seven days, you're to eat matzah. On the first day, and it's the first day, remove the leaven from your house. No, no, it's the first day of the seventh. For whoever eats hummus, leavened bread, from the first to the seventh day is to be cut off from Israel. On the first and seventh day, you're to have assembly set aside for God. So praise God, this is the first day, and we're all assembled here. That is, we're, we're following this command here. On these days, no work is to be done except what each man must do what each must do to prepare his food. You may do only that. You're to observe the festival of matzah, unleavened bread. For on this day, I brought your divisions out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, you're to observe this day from generation to generation by perpetual regulation.
from the evening of the 14th day of the first month until the evening of the 21st day, you have to eat matzah. So we have this uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread today through um, next uh, Wednesday, but in the diaspora, we have another day. We had an eight day because of the time difference. Um, hallelujah. Okay. Um, now I just lost my place. During those seven days, no leaven is to be found in your houses. Whoever eats food with hummus, in it is to be cut off from the community of Israel. It doesn't matter whether he's a foreigner or a citizen of the land. Eat nothing with hummets in it. Unleavened bread. Wherever you live, eat matzah. Then Moshe called for the leaders of Israel and said, select and take lambs for your families and slaughter the Pesach lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop leaves and dip it in the blood, which is in the basin, and smear it on the two sides and top of the door frame. Then none of you is to go out of the door of this house until morning, for Adonai will pass through to kill the Egyptians. But when he sees the blood on the top and on the two sides, Adonai will pass over the door and will not allow the slaughterer to enter your houses and kill you. You're to observe this as a law, you and your descendants forever. And we're so thankful that, to be part of uh, one with Israel for those of us that aren't Jewish, that we can celebrate this feast too. Praise God the Pesach lamb, Yeshua, we thank him. And then the other verse um, to remember of 13.3, that's Exodus 13.3. Moshe said to the people, remember this day on which you left Egypt, the abode of slavery, because Adonai, by the strength of his hand, has brought you out of this place. Do not eat hummets. And then we also have Luke 22. Oh, and I didn't tell everyone to get communion. If you would get communion elements, Luke 22, 14 through 20. I hope everybody has them. We will be reading um, to start it off here. Um, when the time came, Yeshua and the emissaries reclined at the table and he said to them, I have really wanted so much to celebrate this Seder with you before I die. For I tell you, it is certain that I will not celebrate it again until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Then taking a cup of wine, but we'll take the wine. And he made the blessing. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. So we thank you, Lord. This your precious blood. Take this and share it among yourselves, for I tell you that from now on, I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. So we, we thank you for what you did, Lord. Precious blood of Yeshua. This speaks a better word than Abel's. Cleanses us from all our sin. We just look to you and repent. And take drinks. And taking a piece of matzah, he made the blessing. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth, your precious body, Lord. And we see the stripe, the piercing on the matzah, unleavened representing no sin, the perfect lamb of God, our very creator, would love us so much. We remember, Lord. We thank you, and you gave us eternal life in bringing us into our inheritance and Israel into her inheritance through your precious body, bloodshed for us. Thank you, Lord. He said, um, take, he made the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, this is my body, which is being given for you. Do this in memory of me. Father, we thank you, above all, that you loved us so much to give your son and Yeshua. We thank you. We thank you that in you we're whole, holy unto you. And we pray that for Israel now too, Lord. It's all over Israel. Say, so take the wine. 
with the grape juice and the matzah. And Lord, and, and remember the blood on the door frame that they'll know they've got to put your blood on their heart. Father, we ask your mercy on Israel now. Lord, to call on Yeshua, the Passover lamb. We pray for eyes to see and ears to hear. As we remember that Isaiah 53, who has believed a report, Lord, give them revelation, Father, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Okay, so we remember, we remember, it's so amazing that our creator would die for us. We remember, and that out of slavery, you delivered Israel to bring her into her inheritance. As we remember Joshua, you had Joshua, whose name was Yehoshua. God delivers. So we lift you up, Yeshua, mighty deliverer to deliver Israel, O oh Lord. Bring her into her eternal inheritance, each individual, Lord, all over the world, all your Jewish people, Lord, your firstborn that have blessed us with your gospel, with your word, with, with the Passover Seder. Thank you, Lord, with the law, with your covenant. Bless your people, Israel, this day. As you said, there's another verse here I want to read, um, and it's Exodus 13, 3. This was a night when Adonai kept vigil to bring them out of the land of Egypt. And this same night continues to be a night when Adonai keeps vigil for all the people of Israel, for all their generations. And, and we're calling on you to keep vigil this Passover Seder, uh, th this Passover week, Feast of Unleavened Bread, all over Israel to protect her. And most of all, to bring your people into their end internal eternal inheritances sons and daughters and priests and kings to be a blessing all over the world to call israel into their destiny oh lord god as your witness as your light praise god all of israel but we do bless the current messianic community too and we thank you and we pray oh lord pour out your spirit on them lord in these last days powerful your, your powerful spirit, Lord, you can do all things. Oh, Lord, thank you. Praise you, Lord. In Yeshua's name, amen. All right, so um, let's see here. I also want to read um, a little bit from the Red Hadashah, the New Testament, of Philippians 2, 5. Through 11. Let your attitude toward one another be governed by your being in union with the Messiah Yeshua. Though he was in the form of God, he did not regard equality with God something to be possessed by force. On the contrary, he emptied himself, and then he took the form of a slave by becoming like human beings are. And when he appeared as a human being, he humbled himself still more by becoming obedient even to death, death on a stake as a criminal. Therefore, God raised him to the highest place, gave him the name above every name, that in the honor of the name of given Yeshua, every knee will bow in heaven on earth and under the earth. Every tongue will acknowledge that Yeshua the Messiah is Adonai, to the glory of God the Father. And just one more passage here, which he prayed with his disciples, John 15, 12 through 17. Just before he went to die for us, this is my command that you keep on loving each other just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if I do, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave doesn't know what his master is about, but I have called you friends because everything I've heard from my father I've made known to you. You did not choose me, I chose you, and I have commissioned you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last so that whatever you ask from the father in my name he may give you that is what i command you keep loving each other wow thank you lord thank you that you sanctify us as those as, as we remember what sue was saying obedience um and and worship 
that you circumcise us, sanctify us, and then deliverance is coming. Oh, our great deliverer. Praise God. Hallelujah. So um, I just, I'm going to start off the prayer with uh, the one area that the Lord gave me, and then I'm going to let you all pray. Um, what I um, wanted to bring out was um, for our children, for Israel's children, um, Exodus 12, 42. This is my, this was the reason I believe I was called to do this today. Um, I got it very strong from the Lord. Okay, this was a night when Adonai kept vigil to bring them out of the land of Egypt. And this same night continues to be a night when Adonai keeps vigil for all the people of Israel through all their generations. And I know I read that, but I wanted to repeat it because it's for our children now. Uh, Exodus 1.22 uh, reminds us of uh, what was happening to the children and why they were crying out to the Lord for help. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people, every boy that is born, throw in the river, but let all the girls live. <clears throat> and then in Exodus 3, 9 and 10, uh, yes, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me. I've seen how terribly the Egyptians oppressed them. Therefore, now come and I will send you to Pharaoh so that you can lead my people, the descendants of Israel, out of Egypt. So we, we see Mo Moshe was being um, sent to lead his people here, but it was because God heard the cry of the people of Israel. And I think one of the biggest cries was that their boys were all being thrown into the river. Uh, can you imagine? Um, that would, I can't, that's horrible. So um, I'm sure that was a big part of their cry. Uh, though they also were very, very um, burdened with making the, um, building the um, pyramids and whatever. Um, they, they were slaves and slaves to do and torture somewhat. Um, so, um, and then in Exodus 6, 6 through 8, This is always read at almost all Passover seders. Therefore, say to the people of Israel, I'm Adonai. I will free you from the forced labor of the Egyptians, rescue you from their oppression, redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments. I will take you as my people and I'll be your God. Then you will know that I am Adonai, your God, who freed you from the forced labor of the Egyptians. I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and yet Jacob. I will give it to you as your inheritance. I am Adonai. Oh, Father God, we, we, we remember the great deliverance out of Egypt. And now we're asking, Lord, for the deliverance of the children, Lord, as they're being attacked, even as the spirit of Amalek attacked your people to, to have the firstborn son, all the sons thrown into the river, the Nile. Oh, Lord, today. We, we, we realize, oh Lord, the enemy's attacking our children in all the seven spheres, family, education, entertainment, media, government, business, and spirituality. Oh Lord God, all the seven spheres, our children are being attacked. There's laws, abortion laws. We want to repent of those, oh Lord, and, and that we've allowed it. Uh, the wrong kind of education and, and media, Lord, for our children. Oh, Father, so we're looking to you, Lord. And, and, and now today, Israel has a choice of picking four more, four new Supreme Court justices. And so we want to bring that to the Lord's attention, Lord, that these will be justices. We're asking for justices that would be of your pick, that would revere your word, Lord. And that abortion, uh, the abortion laws could be overturned, Father God. That we that it would only pro-life, Lord. We pray for pro-life, and in all the media, all the uh, all the uh, seven spheres, Lord, to protect the children. 
Um, so this is Isaiah 1, 26 through 27. I'm going to read that too. This was the time when I, Israel was being judged. Um, I will restore your judges at the first, as at first, and your advisors as at the beginning. After that, you'll be called the city of righteousness, faithful city. Zion will be redeemed by justice, and those in her, her repent by righteousness. And as we're all going, um, very soon we're going to have our Elijah journey. This came to my mind for our children, um, to pray for our children. And, and Elijah um, 3, verse um, th 2, it says, But who can endure the day when he comes? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire, like the soap maker's lie. He will sit testing and purifying the silver. He will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold and silver, so that they can bring offerings to Adonai uprightly. Lord, all of us, as we're, we're remembering, that's our calling as watchmen. It's also Israel's calling. And we do pray, Lord, you purify the, all of Israel first to know you, Yeshua. Only in you can we be holy. We're praying for them to know you. And you do refine us all. And we do ask for the fire that we be holy unto you and consecrated unto you, oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Um, and then um, on down to 4.2, and in some Bibles, it's 3.20. For, but to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings, and you will break out leaping like calves released from the stall. You'll trample the wicked. There'll be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I take action, says Adonai Savot. So we pray that over Israel, over the believers in the land, Lord, that they will trample the wicked, that they'll know who they are in you, Lord, mighty sons and daughters, kings and priests, Lord, and, and um, you will bring healing, even through their hands, healing, and that they will be um, anointed by your servant, as, uh, but with your anointing, Lord, your servant anointing, to, with your compassion, with your love, Lord, for the, to, to be a fire there, oh God, a source of, all over Israel, your messianic community, Lord, hallelujah. Anoint them, Lord, in this last days, oh, Lord God. Set them on fire, fire on the altar, hallelujah, that does not go out. Remember the Torah of Moshe, my servant, which I enjoin on him at Horeb. Laws and rulings for all Israel. Look, I will send to you Eliyahu the prophet before the coming and the great and terrible day of Adonai. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Otherwise, I'll come and strike the land with complete destruction. So we are praying now for the hearts of the children to come to the father. And the, that's you, Father God, only you. We need you, Israel, all of Israel, Lord, during this Passover time, oh Lord, to know who you are, Yeshua, the gateway to the father, only, only way to the father, the Passover lamb. We're praying that now. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I wanted to share before I... Then, then um, we'll go on to others that have something in their heart to pray for Israel. Um, you know, I had been singing a song to my my granddaughter, and her name means jewel. And I'm going to read that too. I almost forget about that. Isaiah 40, um, 49. Isaiah 49. I, uh, she was named Adiel. I didn't realize it meant jewelry of God. My son named her Ad Adelaide. And then I found out her name meant jewelry of God. So this is for our children. Um, and I will tell you what happened too. Um, I asked someone to do communion, Margo, but she's sick and couldn't. But as I was asking her, the song that I had been singing to my, my granddaughter popped up to reply to her. So I sent it. It, it was, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. That popped up. <laughs> and I just sent it to Margo. But I mean, that was God confirming, you know, how important it is that we pray for our children now. Um, our jewels. And this Isaiah 49, 17 says the same thing. Your children are coming quickly. Your destroyers and plunders are leaving and going. Raise your eyes and look around. They're all gathering, coming to you. 
Adonai swears, as surely as I am alive, you will wear them all like jewels. Adorn yourself with them like a bride. And then down to 24, can, but can booty be wrested from a warrior? Can a victor's captives be free? This is Adonai's answer. Even a warrior's captives will be snatched away and the booty of the fearful will be freed. I will fight those who fight you and I will save your children. I will feed those oppressing you with their own flesh. They will be drunk on their own blood as with wine. Then everyone will know that I, Adonai, am your savior and your redeemer, the mighty one of Israel. Hallelujah. So we're so thankful, Lord, to be able to remember our children during the Seder in Israel, the children in Israel. You said generation to generation to remember. Praise God. Our mighty God to save. What a mighty God we serve. Our Passover lamb. Now I'm opening it up. If you see in the chat, there's prayer points. Um, and actually, uh, Shakar had given me these. I kind of shortened them a little bit, but they're, they're, they're basic ones. We miss Shakar. Bless her and her with her family. Okay, so uh, just raise your hand and uh, anything on your heart um, would to pray for Israel now. Sylvia, can you add back the prayer points? Because I think if we got on late, we don't have. I have to put them again. Yeah. Shirley's helping me with that. She's such a help. I can't tell you how much. <laughs> well, while she's doing that, though, someone wants to just pray, uh, have something on your heart, You're, you can go ahead. Um, I want to pray um, in Malachi 2, <clears throat> the Lord was raising up all the things that we do wrong <laughs> um, and specifically talking to the, to the body, to the believers. And um, Father, we ask your forgiveness, even in Israel today. Um, um, Father, we ask your forgiveness for all that we do that is not aligned with you. Father, that we acknowledge before you um, that we are in need of the blood of the Lamb because of our own actions and our own corruptions. And even uh, um, as your followers, Lord, forgive us for missing the mark. Uh, forgive us for all acts of unfaithfulness, Lord, that you would forgive us, Holy Spirit. We, we cry out to you um, that it's only by your grace that we can walk in even any measure of righteousness. It's because of your grace. It's because your blood has delivered us from being a slave to sin. And we can today set our eyes on you and believe that we will walk in righteousness because of you, because of your grace. Holy Spirit, we uh, cry out for that spirit of conviction, for that spirit of the fear of God to be with us always. And our hearts to be so tender towards you that our ears would be um that we would walk with this alertness and this um, awareness um, that we need you, Holy Spirit, that we would stay in tune with you, Holy Spirit, that we would hear your corrections, your um, um, <clears throat> even the cor correcting of our path, Lord, even bringing adjustment to, the, to our walk with you, that we, we never move according to our minds, according to our intellect. Um, and, and what we think is the best, the right way, but Holy Spirit, that we learn obedience. We learn submission to you, that we learn to um, honor you above our intellect um, and walk according to your ways until we become uh, the body that um, 
that does um, move Israel to jealousy until we become uh, the body that is um, filled with the Holy Spirit demonstrating, you know, the body that you commissioned the Holy Spirit, that you commissioned Jesus to go and bear fruit. And anything that we ask for, we will see, we will bear fruit. Um, and uh, and uh, just reveal your glory. Wherever you send us, that we would reveal your glory. Um, and we bless the Messianic community, Father, in, um, in Israel. Father, we ask for your grace, your empowerment, your anointing to be on them, that they would walk in your ways and in your power, and they will provoke uh, their brothers to jealousy, Father. Um, all over, we bless the, um, the uh, Arab community, Father. We bless all believers in Israel to walk in the fullness of the Holy Spirit and bear fruits for you, Father, we pray. Amen. Amen. And we have Molly. Thank you. Thank you, Dalia. I, I really want to thank the Lord today for um, uh, Mike Bickle having uh, that his meeting with the Australian uh, prayer leaders and our nation and explaining and uh, how God has been, uh, how God revealed and opened out to him to, to bring the nations to come together to pray and to raise up a uh, hundred million intercessors for Israel. And I just want to say thank you to God for 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 alerting and bringing the nations to this this appointed time of Passover where the nations are wanting are coming into the understanding of why it is a priority to pray for Israel's salvation and her destiny so father i just want to say thank you for um, alerting us, God, drawing us into your divine appointed times of the first feast of Passover. And this feast is unto you. And this feast is a memorial to generations. And Father, we just want to thank you as the one new man. Today, we stand as watchmen. And we thank you, Father, for the, the Isaiah 62 mandate of the church, of the body of Christ, as well as to Israel. That, Lord, you have declared by your word that you have placed watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem who will not give you rest until you make Jerusalem the praise of the earth, Father God. So, Father, we thank you that in this hour there is such a, a calling and a drawing of the Holy Spirit to the whole nations of the earth. The spirit is moving and quickening because your love for Israel will not come, will not, will not uh, fail them in the covenants and in the mercies that you've shown them. And therefore, Lord, I want to declare and thank you from Ephesians 2, Lord God, that you're bringing uh, the body of Christ, which were alienated from the citizenship of Israel and strangers to the covenant of promise without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, we who were formerly far away have been brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ. For he is our peace who has made both the Jew and the Gentile as one by dividing the wall by abolishing in your flesh the enmity that is the law of commandments contained in ordinances that in, he, that in yourself you have taken the two into one new man, thus making peace that you might reconcile both to God into one body through the cross, thereby slaying the enmity. Therefore, God, we thank you, Jesus, that you came and preached peace to us who were far away and peace to those who were near. This is the shalom we declare, Lord. Through you, Lord Jesus Christ, now both the Jew and the Gentile, we have access by one spirit to the Father. 
So Lord, we are thanking you that we are no longer strangers and foreigners, but our fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built upon the foundation of the apostles, prophets, Jesus Christ himself, being the chief cornerstone in whom the entire building tightly framed together grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom we are also being built together into a dwelling place of God through the Holy Spirit. We praise you and we thank you, Abba, that you are watching over your word to perform it. We are one body in Christ Jesus. We are one in the love, as Dalia prayed, Lord, one in the love of God. You are binding us together and we, the body of Christ in the whole world are coming together, Lord, and praying and declaring that all of Israel shall be saved. Amen. 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 We have another uh, request, prayer. Uh, I'm going to call on somebody if I don't get a volunteer. I think I saw Hillary on here. She's never at a loss for words. <laughs> Where's, is Hillary on here? Oh, maybe I didn't. How about Amy? Yeah, I was just thinking of something, Dahlia. Um, this morning, uh, I was in that same passage uh, out of Exodus, uh, at the same night, it, it continues to be a night when Adonai keeps vigil for all the people of Israel through all their generations. And that is uh, repeated in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus, as he was going through that agony, he was keeping watch, his heart was that his people would come and recognize him as their Passover lamb. That, that grief we enter into, we are to enter in as Gentiles into that suffering, that grief, that being on the walls as watchmen, um, entering into uh, as, as people who are crying out for the people of Israel to come have the blindness stripped off and so we want to just ask that, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would move and work, even as you are. You are keeping vigil. And it says that is to be kept as a watch every year, as a representative of that. You are standing watch. And so you are standing watch. So we come in agreement with you. We align with you as our commander, just as you said to Joshua, I am the commander of Adonai's army. That was a picture of how you will be coming from Basra. You will be coming up to rescue Israel, but they're going through these groups and trials to cause them to turn to you. So help us to be the midwives, help us to be the ones that will defy the pharaohs and those that seek to destroy Israel, that we will come alongside them and say, no, we are bringing to the birth. We are coalitioning with the Lord. We are coming together with you, Father. And we ask forgiveness for having st stood aside, for having uh, had limp hands and weak knees. We choose to repent as the Gentile people coming in alignment with your plans and purposes. Because that revelation of the Jewish people coming to see Jesus as their Messiah is going to release resurrection power beyond anything we've ever known or thought in these end times. And we thank you. And so we pray you give us strength, give us wisdom, help us come together uh, as a unified body and stand as a united uh, uh, military flanks that we are aligning ourselves with the Lord of hosts. And so we thank you, Father, for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And Daniel, thank you. Father, just come before you during this special time. It's an anoint, appointed time, Lord, and we pray for your people, Lord. I just can't help but thinking about the United States and how important we have been in the formation of the modern state and lord in many ways our nation is shaking and i wouldn't say crumbling god but our foundations everything is shaking with our nation and we are we are struggling and i pray that as this happens as israel sees what's happened and as covid has 
just wreaked havoc throughout their their land. I, I, I can only assume that from what I understand. In light of all that's happening, Father, help them. May they turn to you, God, as they celebrate Passover, as they remember what you did during the times of the Exodus and the original Passover, God. May they see you. Lord, we just ask that Israel would know their God. They would truly know you. And Lord, we pray that the nations of the earth would begin to understand that you are a covenant-keeping God, Lord, and you haven't forgotten Israel, Lord, that we would not constantly look to the Jews with a sense of jealousy or envy or hatred or what all this, the anti-Semitic spirit that can just spread through uh, nations. Lord, I pray that you would give people a heart to pray and intercede for Israel and her destiny, God. We pray for our Prime Minister Netanyahu, Lord, that you would give him wisdom, the spirit of the Lord, a fear of the Lord, and Lord, those advisors around him would know you. We pray for your church, your people in the land, Lord, that you would bless them, fill them overflowing. Lord, I pray that the glory of the latter house would be greater than the former, Lord, that you would do a wonder, a, a mighty, incredible work amongst your people. And even as they come out of COVID and, and so many congregations were separated and, and struggled, Lord, I pray that you would bring healing, even as, as maybe people have gathered for the first time, perhaps this year, um, around the table again. Or Lord, just I pray that there would be healing, that, that just healing conversations would take place. And uh, Lord, that you would, you would do an incredible thing in Israel and that that the people that come and visit her would encounter you as they visit from all across the earth, God, as the doors are open again and people fly constantly to tour and look, I pray that they would, they would find you. And I ask this in Jesus name. Amen. Dalia, you're mute, muted. If anybody knows Hebrew and wants to do the Ronic benediction, raise your hand real quick or you're going to hear me. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't have any takers. All right. The Ronic benediction, we want to bless Israel. And this is, uh, as I think most of us know, number 622, I'm going to start with. Adam, I said to Moshe, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them that this is how you're to bless the people of Israel. And because of uh, the order of Melchizedek, we are all priests too now. And we're going to bless Israel, our older brother. And we do thank, oh, we got so much from Israel, how they took care of your word, Lord. We want to say this blessing on this incredible feast where you, Yeshua, our very creator, gave your life, suffered to bless Israel and to bless each one of us, every person in the world, you desire to come to know you. Okay, and you're to say to them, Yavarecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. The Lord blesses you and keeps you. Ya'er Adonai panavaleka v'kuneka. The Lord makes his face shine on you and shows you his favor. Isa Adonai panavaleka v'yasam l'cha shalom. The Lord lifts up his face toward you and gives you shalom. In the name of the Sar Shalom, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. In this way, they are to put my name on the people of Israel so that I will bless them. Yes, we put your name. Yeshua, Yahushua. God delivers in this season on the people of Israel. Hallelujah. All over the world too, your Jewish people. And thank you that we're one in you. Praise God. One in you, Yeshua. Brothers and sisters, kings and priests, may we know our destiny on these end times, Lord, and take your anointing, that serpent anointing, Lord. You came and suffered for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Yeshua's name.
Now it's six o'clock, okay. Thank you, Dahlia.